joining us live in studio are members of the Allen East wrestling team. Andy will be with some of the wrestlers in a minute, but I have the privilege of talking to head coach Mike Abbey. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here tonight. Hey, great to have us. Thanks. Yeah, we um, just got done with the Allen County wrestling tournament. You had some guys that uh, had some pretty good um, success there. You had Drake Carmian, Chase Miller, uh, Brennan Davies, each one in their weight class. Mm -hmm. You had uh, Blake Hirschberger uh, placed second. Yep. And there, just talk a little bit about how your uh, how your guys have responded in the early part of your wrestling season. Well, it's always a little bit different now at the beginning of the season as it, uh, you know, go back 10 years or so when uh, we didn't have a lot of the alpha testing and a lot of the weight management. And so lineups aren't really quite the way they're going to be a little bit later in the season. But uh, no, um, my guys made down alpha. Did, they did a great job getting down the weight a little earlier in, in the season. And uh, so Allen County uh, had a couple guys out of, out of spot a little bit, have one of my uh, state qualifiers on in the lineup. So, uh, but um, like you said, Drake's, Drake started off the season just an excellent, uh, excellent start for him. A, re a returning state qualifier for us. Got a couple back this year. And uh, um, like you said, Brendan did a great job too. Uh, He's our heavyweight back, uh, third year heavyweight for us, and uh, he's done a great job. Uh, the Miller boy, Chase, at one at 145, just a freshman this mm -hmm. year. So uh, real excited about our youth and uh, definitely got a great young team right now. And just, just responding from the beginning of the season, a couple tournaments, and uh, we just had a try the other day with uh, Bluffton and Delta St. John's. So uh, okay. beginning of the season, December's kind of starting out the way we kind of wanted to do, workmanlike. And, yeah. going to work each day and just trying to get a little bit better. Now you talk about the team being young. They've had, I mean, they've been NWC champs the last couple of years in the mm -hmm. tournament and you, you had a, a young group last year, so they're, they're still young. <laughs> they're just not quite as young. So has, has having success as a team helped to uh, further those guys along than maybe other schools where they'd have to wait until they were real juniors or seniors to really produce? Uh, we've been lucky to hit, we, we've had great feeder program the last few years. My biddy coaches and junior high coaches have done a great job kind of grooming us kind of to, so we're ready when we're, we're a little bit younger. But uh, um, just last year we had one senior state qualifier for us. We had four state qualifiers last year, most ever in our program history. So it was exciting. It wasn't really what we wanted to do down there so much, sure. but uh, we got quite a few guys down there and uh, you know, always looking to do a lot of great things. No seniors this year, so I had no juniors last year, so with only one senior. And uh, so I've got some real quality sophomores and, and juniors and a couple of real quality quest, uh, freshmen to go along with that group, so have you seen, fun. Have you seen the leadership develop with so many, with so many young guys? Is, is, that, is uh, that a fun process? Is it, it kind is. of maddening at times? No, the room has been pretty good this year. It's been, it's been fun. We've got 17 guys. No seniors, like I said, so uh, you have 15 guys on the junior high team. But yeah, we have a couple state qualifiers. Drake, we like, he, he's, we, we call him self-appointed. Uh, you'll see here in a little bit, you'll talk with him a little bit, but uh, no, I got a great young group of guys. And right now we're just kind of, kind of switching on and off a little bit. Garrett's not totally back into it. Garrett Neff, uh, another returning state qualifier for us. And uh, he broke his foot during football. Hmm. So he's just getting back into the room and kind of showing his, uh, kind of showing his leadership, uh, taking it over a little bit. So it's, it's been fun. Now you stepped down as Allen East head football coach mm -hmm. last season, or I guess the season before that. Yep. How has that impacted um, you preparing for wrestling? Has, has, it been a, has it been an overall positive impact? Have you been able to focus more on wrestling without mm -hmm. having to deal with football? Well, that's for sure. I mean, football <laughs> is, is quite a chore, no doubt about it. Um, um, definitely freed up. I was actually a golf coach this year, so it was definitely something new for me. And, uh, um, but that's over beginning of October, so that kind of gave me a whole month to kind of get our room into shape. They, uh, we built a beautiful 100 foot by 60 foot wrestling room out there, and most of it is for wrestling mats and stuff right now. So we're enjoying that and getting, put, putting all of that into use. But, um, you know, Coach Rader came in, has done a great job and really helped, I think, bring a couple extra kids back into the wrestling program that kind of got out of it a little bit. And uh, his push for us and just just keeping our athletes involved in sports, that's always real important at a small school, is that we're helping each other in, in all aspects of, this, of the school system. Real quick, what's something really positive that you've seen so far in this season? If you could, if you could only name one, what, what's your top? I think our camaraderie in the room, really, uh, and just the way we've kind of been pushing each other. 
Um, I got some, I got a new assistant in the room, missing Jake for sure. Jake Clum's not with us right now as much as, it, as he'd like to be. But uh, I got Seth Meyer coming in. I got a new guy and RJ Wattell. Got some, got some new blood in there. So the new blood in there, our new room, it's a lot of excitement going on. And uh, we're definitely building for the uh, second half of the season. Coach Mike Abbey, thank you for your time. We're going to take it over to Andy now. He's got some of the Allen East wrestlers the coach was just talking about. Andy? Thank you, Patrick. Thanks, Coach. I'm joined by Drake Carmine, the sophomore to my left. In the middle is Jordan Kennedy. He's a junior, and so is Brennan Davies, a junior as well. So, so how does the coach kind of set a self-appointed captain? How does that work, Drake? And it, talk about the leadership structure for you guys. I, I don't really know. I, I just like pushing the team, trying to get out of what – Get, trying to get what we know we can get out of each other pretty much, trying to push each other in practice as much as possible, just trying to make champs. Coach said camaraderie is very strong with you guys. All, all good friends? Is that kind of what he's talking about there? I, I'd say more than friends. We're, we're family. We, we love each other. We, we do everything together. Awesome. Awesome. Jordan, uh, wrestling at Allen County. Get to see some of your Allen County rivals. Is that kind of a special meet going against some WBL schools, Lima Senior, as well as some NWC schools? Yeah, it was a <clears throat> big uh, meet because we're going to see LCC everywhere. Cause, you know, I lost to Gavin Capella. You know, we'll see him everywhere, though. So I'll have my chance to go back at him, you know, seeing some other schools, seeing who's going to be down at 106 this year. So it'll be interesting throughout the year. Brennan, you got a big win at Allen County. What did that feel like? Uh, it was great, you know. Um, the year before, it didn't really end as I wanted it to. So to be able to come back this year and finally stand on top of that podium, I mean, it was it was really cool, you know, being able to be one of the main members of our team and you know really help us try and keep pushing our program forward. Speaking of pushing forward, a big uh, Defiance Border Wars coming up there after Christmas. You looking forward to that one? Yeah, I am. Uh, there's there's going to be a lot of talent there. There's going to be a lot of good teams from not just Ohio but you know Michigan, Indiana as well. Uh, It'll be good to see some new talent, you know, see some different people that we're not going to see, you know, the rest of the year. It'll be good to kind of branch out and see what else we got coming up. Who's your uh, mat room dual meet? Who do you go against a lot in the mat room? Um, you know, tough, tough to match up with a guy like you, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it, it kind of shifts around. Sometimes it's coaches. Um, okay. I, there's an eighth grader. We have an eighth grade heavyweight, uh, Eli Cribbley, that okay. I work with a lot. You know, just trying to build him up, nice. get him to where we need him to be. Um, it usually rotates between either him or the coaches or some other people that come into the room and try to, you know, give, a, give me different partners here and there, but it's good. Drake, you made it down to state last year. How much do you think about getting back to the Schottenstein Center? I, I work for it every day. That's what I go to practice for is I just want to make it back down there again. What was that like going to the shot? As a freshman, it, it was scary. I I walked in the I walked in the tunnel. I looked. You didn't out look and, up, did you? Oh, I looked up. The first <laughs> thing I did was look up, and that was a mistake. It's it's just a humongous center, and it it's beautiful, and it's it's really scary. Brennan, when I walk into say LCC for their Big Thunderbird Invitational or a district meet, there's lots of teams. I listen for the sound of Coach Abby, and, and I know exactly where to go. He's got that distinct sound. Oh, you, yeah. you guys hear him when you're wrestling, I'm sure. Oh yeah, it's like. You can hear two things. You can hear the whistle, and you can hear Coach Abby's voice. That's pretty much the two things that you hear um, throughout the meet. So you never really need to look for him because all you need to do is listen for him. So you know you, you can hear him no matter where you're at. You can be anywhere in the gym. You always hear him. Certainly a veteran head coach. We appreciate Coach Abby and the guys stopping by. Good luck the rest of the season. Enjoy Christmas. You can put a few pounds on. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how they do. Patrick, back to you.